afternoon. This is Dr. Kimberly Ellison. I wanted to come on and just give you a midweek after the midweek pickup. And I wanted to encourage you all as we are nearing the end of the first month of the year in 2019. Many of you have probably started to give up on what your resolutions were or your goals and what you aspire to accomplish for 2019. But I wanted to come on and encourage you and just let you know that you have these expectations, you have these goals, you have everything that you need. You are equipped to accomplish what you've set out to this year. However, I want you to know that your execution must exceed your expectations. And so you said, what does that mean, Dr. Kimberly? Well, Listen, you have to know more than just um, what it is that you expect. Your expectations are what you think, okay? That is your thoughts. That's your hope. That is what you plan to accomplish, all righty? So when you think about your expectations, you set up a regard in your mind on what it looks like. I expect to accomplish uh, this particular thing by March or April. I expect... Um, to be a different size um, in my weight loss, or I expect to have a different job, or I expect to be running my company a particular way, or I no longer expect to be in that relationship that has caused you some turmoil, or that has um, caused some broken pieces of your life to be, and you're fragmented, and you no longer expect to be in that particular situation. Well, your execution must exceed your expectation. You must not just only think, but you have to begin to act. Your actions now then says, I am going to confirm your expectations. The only way you can confirm your, what you think and what you believe is by what you do. And the word of God tells us faith without works is dead. And when you begin to look at your level of faith, that is what you hope, what you expect to happen. But then your execution is then saying, I now confirm everything I believe. So I wanted to come on and share with you that you have to begin to execute in such a way that it looks different than what it has been in your past. That you begin to do something a little different. You have your time. Now you now need to honor your time. You now need to take a look at where are the places that you are spending versus investing your time. You have to take a look at what are some of those limiting beliefs that I have that are keeping me from continuing to be consistent or committed to the consistency of producing what I see in my dreams. I want to come on and let you know that if you are at the end of this January one one month into the 2019 year and you are here and you're about to give up, I wanted to share with you, don't give up. All you need to do is course correct. You ready, set, reset, and you get back in the game.